asked Emily Biddle, Director of Marketing and Research for Visit Erie. Yeah, using cell phone and geolocation to track visitor activity, uh, we're welcoming her to the show. Emily, we were quite intrigued with this. We read a news release that you sent us. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we understand that Erie is a tourist area and that quite often when we have stories about things, we say, oh, this will attract X number of people. And we always wonder, well, how do you know that? <laughs> and you're here to answer that question, kind of? Kind of, yeah. yeah. So uh, Visit Erie has, this is a new initiative for us to really better understand visitor trends. Um, the platform the platform that we entered into a partnership with is called Zartico. It's used by about 175 organizations just like ours all across the country. Um, and while it doesn't, uh, it's not going to give us a full picture to say there were this number of people on site at any given time, it uh, does tell us percentages. So mm -hmm. since it uses cell phone data, um, obviously some people have that turned off, you know, it, it, some people don't. Um, so we're never going to get the numbers, but it does look at percentages. So we can say, you know, what percentage of our um, total visitation to Erie came up from Pittsburgh versus Buffalo? How many, what percentage is going up to the mall versus Presque Isle? Mm -hmm. um, and, and really is going to give Visit Erie an opportunity to track those trends and better understand when people are coming here, where are they coming from, and, and why. What are the most interesting findings you're kind of expecting to sort out with this? I think, you know, for me at least to start, and I, I'll say this is very new for us, so we're sort of just starting to, to yep. wade into this platform. Um, but what's been so interesting to me initially is to see different markets that we didn't know were, were coming to Erie frequently. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, we've known for a long time, and this platform has confirmed that Pittsburgh, Cleveland, and Buffalo are three of our major markets. People come from those three areas all year round. Um, but what was interesting uh, was we saw more traffic from Johnstown than mm -hmm. we would have guessed, yeah. more traffic from Harrisburg than we would have guessed. Um, and now with that data, seeing that those are in our you know, top five or six origin markets uh, into Erie, that now tells me, okay, let's think about how we can reach more people from those yeah. markets right. and, exactly. and increase it. Yep. Yep. And what attractions um, are popular? Where is everybody going when they come to Erie? <laughs> well, that uh, has not been a surprise and probably won't be to anybody else in Erie who has uh, been on Upper Peach Street at any time at any point in the year. <laughs> um, but what we've seen so far was is that um, the Upper Peach Street region is tends to be our most popular region for visitors. The shopping area. The yeah. shopping Retail area. area. Yeah. Um, Upper Peach is very popular. Uh, when we look at the types of uh, attractions that people are coming here for, um, most of our visitors, about half, do stop at a retail outlet at some point in their trip. Mm -hmm. um, we do see a lot of high traffic at outdoor uh, attractions. I would assume that that's Presque Isle yeah. driven. Mm -hmm. um, and then accommodations and then other attractions, places like Splash Lagoon and Waldemere and the Children's Museum and things like that. Now, we're starting to run out of time, but do those numbers go down in the winter? I mean, obviously with Presque Isle and a great Tuesdays and all the great outdoor things we have, do those numbers dwindle more in the winter? Especially with the weather changing as well, lake yep. effects, snow, things like yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. Naturally, Erie is a, a really summer-heavy tourist destination, mm -hmm. but I think we, the fact that we have this research now, um, we're going to be able to see who is still coming here in the winter and what they're doing mm -hmm. to help us try to even that out a bit. It's, it's never going to be exactly yeah. the same. Yeah. Summer here is just special. We yeah. know that. Yeah. Um, but if we can work to balance it out a little bit more, that's really something we want to work on. Fascinating. You'll Very have to cool. keep us updated on this as you move forward using that data. So I will. interesting. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Emily. Nice to see you today. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yeah. Appreciate thanks it. for popping in.